the energy vibration reading for the cancers hello it is the month of february for you cancers and we're going to be looking at what is happening for you cancers please like share these videos this video is going to take 45 minutes and oh my gosh you guys have a new start so this is good in the month of february what is happening with you cancers a new start is coming up for you cancers which is wonderful it's beautiful um please like share these videos if this is the first time thank you for being on my channel please subscribe and um use the alarm bell that's when i'm live then you guys will know because i'm going back to be live i have been receiving so much messages so i'm finally going to do live again yeah okay so you cancers you're about to start a new journey in february and that is good you cancer so let's see what's happening what is happening for you cancers what is transpiring for the cancers now month of february is a month of water energy okay so there is some emotional situations there are going to be um information coming out and that is going to be something else so cancers let's see what's happening for you guys two first week is going to be in hair sign two last week is going to be good for you guys okay because it's the zodiac of water so that is going to be good um you cancers what is that going to be happening for you guys please remember that on the month is just a dollar 99 at mm, 30 minutes um will be on on the month okay so for you Pisces, you Cancers, the first week you have the energy of the lovers. Whatever the situation is, is a past life situation. You could be reconnecting with your soul family or it has something to do with a family member that you're dealing with in the first week, okay? So it's um, it can be emotional, but we're going to be seeing. There is going to be a new start with the Sun of Wands. Okay, so if you're a Pisces and you have um, your Sun is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, there's going to be a new start with this person. So um, this is wonderful. Um, this is a mother and a son that has had some rift that is going to be rehealing. For some of you, this could be um, that you, um, your soulmate is. Uh, a Aries Leo or Sagittarius and you guys could be reconnecting third week there is a situation with an organization where we're seeing that um, there is definitely a child custody battle or something that to do with a child so whatever as transpire um, you're dealing with um, a legal issue with a child this person is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius okay so um wow let's see what else is coming out in the four week in the fourth week um you have the energy of the four of pentacles okay so there is needs to be some balance in your financial world some balance with the organization now as i look at this you have two major arcana and the two major arcana um comes up where is the lovers so obviously this is a child custody situation that is going on for you cancers you cancers have to balance out a child custody some of you um you could be divorcing and going back and forth with this divorce um the energy of the lovers is here and if you're connected with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius Obviously, there's a lack of fort of information and communication because um, something needs to happen. The energy of the lover, and uh, you have to make a decision about um, if you have a child that is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, you definitely have to make a decision about this person. If it's not a child, it's a family member, and you have to make a decision about this person. As we look the son of ones with organization is that um, um, there is information that is coming out so obviously some of you are dealing with a cost to the battle and we're going to be seeing where this is going I'm seeing 
some of you um, it could be it has something with a child in an hospital okay it's all about something with the child in a hospital you could be the one that is also sick Wow the daughter of swords okay so wow so what is transpiring here is that definitely definitely there are some issues that is going on here you guys are dealing with the Aquarian Gemini or Libra people and they're young people so it could be your daughter and son now your son is not very well and he's in a is in the hospital for some of you your son now um, your daughter is here it could be your son or your daughter that is an Aquarian Gemini or Libra is in a hospital now whatever the situation is um, you're trying to figure out how you're going to pay for this okay um the star comes out in the second week so the energy of the star is that um, whatever it is there that is transpiring and happening uh, you're dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarian okay um, this person was sent to you by the universe okay it's as if there was some uh, whatever the transition is because this is the energy of uh, um, for the four of ones um, and the star there's going to be some um, unexpected help coming in for you you know your spirit guides is going to be orchestrating some unexpected help that is coming in for you now whoever out there has a son that is a whoever out there that has a son that is an Aquarius Gemini or Libran he's not well but he will be okay okay he's not well but he will be okay out comes this energy of the tower okay so there is um, some of you have to make a, a decision about your relationship and if you don't make this this, relate, this decision, um, it's it's gonna come to an end anyway. Okay, so if whether or not you make the decision, uh, it's gonna be coming to an end anyway. So you have to make this decision. Okay. A towel moment is coming up. Some of you ladies at work is dealing with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra person at work but you have a strong foundation against this person whatever she's trying to do the tower moment has come that means this person has no more power over you there's a lot that is happening to your kids people who have children be aware because I'm seeing Whoever has a son that is an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, there is definitely a situation that is coming in. There is a tower moment that is about to come in. So you need to understand this. Some he's not well. Now, apparently he has also a girlfriend that is an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. I'm a you know. Take your son back home once he can't comes out of the hospital because I'm seeing the spirit guides here that is helping him and he's gonna be okay take him back home um, I'm not liking his partner for him right now he needs to be back home with you okay some of you who are dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius is definitely a a child cost to the battle it could be you or divorcing this person there's a lot of communication that is going back and forth 
and you need to make a decision with this person whether he's your son or your partner or a family member or a friend or at work okay I want you guys to do something call upon the angels and guides and angels of collector or seals to come and clear the energies around you guys in this month okay it is um, just call upon the angels of collector of seals and um, and mother Mary and her unicorns to come in and clear your energy and the energy in your house and all around you in every room of the house call upon Archangel Michael and place um, ask Archangel Michael to seal all doors and windows so that nothing that is not of God in the light will come through okay release yourself from fear is what is coming up for you guys love is the only thing that is real release yourself from fear um, that is coming up um, only love is real so call upon your angels and guides um, ask Archangel Zachiel and St. Germain to come in and clear the energies around you ask them to stand in your aura ask Archangel Michael and Master Elmore to come up and stand in your hair your aura and in each and every room in your house cleansing the energy and clearing the situations around you that is going to be good for you guys moving on because there's a lot that is going to be happening I'm seeing a lot of people in hospital I'm seeing a lot of people are off balance um, in your life there's a lot of off balance a lot of people in hospitals a lot of people that are off balance and that sort of energy that is around you you yourself could be having a health issue that is coming up for you cancers okay go for your dreams no matter what is in your way go for your dreams whatever is transpiring and whatever is happening go for your dreams okay so you can sirs whatever the situation and whatever is transpiring go for it because you're going to be receiving because um, the star with a strong foundation means your dreams and wishes will come true just keep on working at it because it's going to be happening for you guys so remember use the energies that I've just told you call upon the universal energies your guiding angels and the spirit guides to come in and to clear the energies release yourself of fear okay replace fear with love and pure light so call upon um, Jesus and and uh, um, there is um, a motto that uh, an affirmation is that I now invoke the love, wisdom, healing, and protection of the golden ray of Christ. Um, I ask for it to flow to you and surrounds you and cleanse you. It is so, and it will be. It is done. So call upon um, these energies to work with you um, at this time because seriously, this month is going to be a month that is going to be throwing you off guard so be aware you um cancers i want to say thank you for being here if you want to see the extended of the reading you can use the link below and it will take you to on demand it's just a dollar 99 you cancers it's a dollar 99 so whatever the situation is and whatever that is transpiring it's just a dollar 99 you cancers okay I am going to say um, um, namaste and um, I will see you on on demand. Okay, welcome to all of you on on demand. There's some heartbreaks, there's a lot of heartbreaks, there's some shifting of energy. Mm -hmm.